Hello everybody, welcome back to Third Age Total War, and today we are in Third Age 3.2 actually, not 4.0. And I am overall done with that entire 4.0 series because it's just uh, completely broken. You can watch probably the last, I don't know, there's literally 106 videos of that whole series up. <laughs> you can probably watch the last few videos of that. Um, it's clearly broken. Whoever made that mod, I'm not sure what the hell they were doing, but they broke the whole game. But 3.2 is the original version that I always used to play, and it's actually balanced for a change. So that's nice. But we're going to be doing the exact same thing. I'm going to be do. Oops. We're going to do a solo hot seat campaign as all the evil guys. Because that's fun. Uh, yeah, I'm, even if we turn this on very, very hard for both of these, it's probably not going to... It's not going to even be as close as hardcore as 4.0 was. Um, I did... I went into the files and I think I... I tuned down Squalor a little bit. Because there are a lot of settlements that get like soft locked, in especially as the evil guys, um, there's a lot of settlements that get soft locked and just like are unable to progress to the next settlement level. So I just tone that down. Uh, that should apply to the AI to me to everybody. So should still be nice and fair. But the AI still gets to, like spawn like death stacks out of nowhere. So whatever. I don't really care too much. Um, no battle timer. All those settings should be good. Looks like I have all these guys selected. And let's go. I have played this so many times. Um, should I let this play? I'll let this play. There we go, it was a nice little cutscene. And and the uh, the loading screens too, oh my god, 4.0, the loading screens for that mod are pretty insane. I think it, it was literally like a minute of a loading screen after every battle, holy shit. But yeah, 3.2 is just better overall in like every way. The only downside to 3.2 was that there were a lot of settlements that got soft locked with scops of, uh, whoa, soft locked with squalor. But I, you know, I basically changed that, so this should be better in every way now. My gosh, I still remember the dwarves in their uh, war chariots. That was, I don't, I don't think, in this, in this mod, they don't have, the dwarves don't have cavalry, which, yeah, I'm still, I'm still mad about 4.0, Jesus Christ. I'm still mad about that. <laughs> it's so, so stupid. All right. Um, oh, W A S D. Okay. Uh, hold on. Is the music on? I think like literally every yeah, music's off. Okay. Literally every video got copyright claimed because they put actual Lord of the Rings music in here. So um, yeah. And I think there's also I think there was a lot more. They shifted the settlements around in 4.0, but I think uh, Haneth Anun, but however the hell you say that, this one right here. That exists in this version, but I think in 4.0 it's just a, it's just um, it's just a fort. There we go. But yeah, um, so I think this is gonna be relatively normal or relatively the same as my 4.0 start, except it's probably gonna go a lot easier. Um, it has been a little bit. What should I do? Yeah, I'll do mines. Yeah, we just need to build a bunch of economic buildings right off the bat so we can, first off, maximize population and just, you know, as much money as possible, as much everything as possible. Because I think, um, as Mordor here, we do start, we start with a pretty big army. Um, suppose we can, I guess we'll... Should I leave these guys there for free upkeep? Well, none of these none of these dudes are getting free upkeep, so we'll take those guys. We have completed an 
But yeah, um, this settlement right here, Nar Nargroth, this settlement got softlocked like every single game I've ever played. So yeah, that's why I turned that down. I think this one too gets softlocked. Oh, I pulled them out. Well, I guess they'll head down to Minas Morgul. We'll try and take um, Ithilien, South Ithilien, and then have this river be the border with Harad and Mordor. And then um, I guess have Mordor take Daggerlad and try and go up to Wilderland and link up with Dol Guldur. But I think, I think we'll lose Dol Guldur to the Sylvan Elves like I always do. There's, you know, it's just like a something way out there and I don't, I don't even think it brings me that much money it's not really too helpful but the main front is with gondor here so yeah well let's uh probably i think the only the only faction evil faction that can hit the sylvans early on is uh the misty mountains oh yeah yeah the uh 4.0 game i i lost all my generals as the misty mountains and the uh, faction just uh, completely went to rebels. That was the I, I literally learned that the hardest way possible. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try and switch up some of the strategies I usually do. Um, Mordor is pretty much always the same. Just focus hard on Gondor and try and just sustain, try and hold against the Sylvans for as long as possible. Rune is just gonna be like. Attack, 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 like crush Dale, crush the dwarves, then crush the Sylvans. And then Harad is just going to be everything at Gondor because that's the only near enemy. And Isengard, I, one time in my like 50,000 attempts at uh, solo potsy campaigns like this, one time I crushed Rohan. I don't know what my difficulty settings were, but I absolutely annihilated them. But like every, every single time I play the game now, I just, I get bogged down by Rohan armies and just get, I just get bogged down. But, um, at least, I think, I think Isengard versus Rohan, I, oh, hold on. I want the mining network. I think, uh, Isengard and Rohan, that's the only, that's the only relationship between a good and an evil faction where the evil side has an advantage in terms of, in terms of unit quality. It's not by much, but I think just the Isengard infantry are overall just better than Rohan stuff. But when, when they, when we get to the late game and then Rohan starts, uh, spamming, like, heavy cavalry units, that gets a little nasty. Now, the, uh, the strategies I'm probably going to try and change the most are the Misty Mountain guys and then Gundabad. What I usually do for the Misty Mountains is I, I basically just give this up to Gundabad. But then that stretches Gundabad very, very thin. Um, but one thing I will not change is we are going for uh, uh, Rivendell and Lodges, whatever it's called, this place right here. There's a city here. Um... Gundabad and the Misty Mountains are going to throw everything at that because we're literally we're literally like a little strip. We're literally a mountain range that's surrounded on both sides by good guys. So that's just an absolute pain in the ass, and I haven't been turning any of my taxes down. That sucks. Ready. But yeah, um, the Sylvan, the Sylvans are never really too crazy on the Misty Mountains, so me pushing in to here is usually never too hard. The only problem is they have, they have two garrison scripted settlements, like here and here, and I think both of them, as soon as I take them, I think they get a free death stack spawned out of nowhere for both, so. Yeah, and then I think their last garrison scripted settlement is like way up here, so if we take, if we take these two, no wait, they have one more... They have one, one right here and then one right here. So one, two, and then three, four. So if we can knock out this, these, these two garrison scripted settlements, we should be able to just contain the Sylvan Elves up here eventually. But we'll see. And uh, Imlagis here is garrison scripted, so that's a nightmare waiting to happen. 
Yeah, Misty Mountains and Gundabad, they have they definitely have a very, very slow start. But yeah, Gundabad, I need to uh I need to focus on Ariador down here because Usually, what I've been doing for the past several attempts at this, over however long I've been playing this, um, I, I'd usually go take this from the Misty Mountains, or I'd just like gift it to me. I'd gift it to myself. <laughs> but then the dwarves would be coming over here, and then I'd, ha I'd just be tied down with a bunch of troops right here. Whereas, I need to- uh, Gundabad just needs to focus everything on Eriador, because, like... If we don't do that, then Eriador starts to put pressure on Isengard, which then makes them fighting against Rohan even more of a pain in the ass. And then eventually they start to put pressure on the Misty Mountains, so it's just... Good to bad needs to be the guys doing stuff in the far west here, because they're the only guys over here. And I believe we... Uh, we start with some trolls. Yeah, right now, right now we're entirely safe, so we can pull out... A decent army. And we'll, our goal is to just, like, snag as much territory as possible before we meet the Eriador, before we meet Eriador or the dwarves. Um, is Gundabad start at war with anybody? We start at war with the dwarves, which they have some stuff way over here in these mountains, and then the rest of it is all the way over here. And then eventually they, I, I assume I'm going to lose the Grey Mountain settlement here as the Misty Mountains eventually. That's happened, like, almost every time, but... And then, again, I am going to get pressured as Gundabad here, but hopefully the Misty Mountain Orcs, we should have everything... We should have everything situated on the west side of the mountains before the dwarves take that, so the Misty Mountains can actually respond. But, we'll see what happens. Um... I think we should... We'll pro I'll probably go for these two, these two northern settlements right here first, because they're pretty, pretty out of the way. Whereas a lot of them down here, we make contact pretty quick with Eriador. Um, yeah. And Harad, easy. These guys are going to become crazy powerful. We got to take... Um, I think we just take this. Because they had West. In 4.0, they had West... Harandor? Harandor? Whatever that is. They had a West little settlement there. Wait. Does... They might have west in this. They have east. They have east, south, central, west. I think they do have west in here. Yeah, they must. Either way, we gotta take we gotta take like two settlements, some islands, and then we can like literally put everything towards Gondor for the rest of the game. So Harad is definitely a pretty pretty easy, pretty easy uh, faction to play. Like we're very secure. Nothing is really going on. And we basically just have free reign to build up as long as we want. And if I if I do take if we take South Athelion, I'll just hand that over to Mordor eventually. Actually, I think that's that's probably best. If I if Harad takes um, South Athelion and then we just give it to Mordor, because then Mordor doesn't have to. Um, they don't have to focus on like moving down south here. We'll just hand it over. Um, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll primarily focus on farms and stuff for the first couple turns. But yeah, a lot. Look at the yeah, three percent. Like, it's pretty in the base game unedited. It's pretty rare to have like growth beyond. Like, I don't even know what. Beyond, like, 2%. You don't get much growth that's bigger than that. But we got to... Merge up our whole ass army. So we can actually do something. But yeah, one, once Harad secures all its, um, I guess the entire, this entire area, once it secures all that, it's li literally just building up and building up and building up. So it's definitely a pretty easy game. 
And the rest of these guys can probably just stay where they are. I guess we can take these guys. Hopefully, hopefully none of our captains um, decide to, you know, call it quits. Yeah, they, they, they have that one and then um, the west one. Okay. Now we got Rune. Yeah, Rune... Rune is like... An absolute beast in this game, like, for the mod. And we will, uh, how bad is this gonna be if I take this guy out? That's uh, not, that's pretty bad. But we have, we basically, we got a free settlement down here. There's not many, um, another difference between 4.0 and 3.2, there's a lot, there's a lot of random settlements that are just rebel at the start. Which is, it's cool, it makes things a bit more chaotic when you're trying to um, I guess, like, secure everything. But it also is just kind of annoying, because then when you start fighting the AI, you just, like, have these rebel settlements just hanging around. Oh, also, another, another reason why I turned down the Squalor is because Rune, um, you don't, you don't get to use your high-tier units until late, late, late in the game as Rune. Like, basically, until you've won the game as Rune, you don't get to, like, start training your golden guys. Because all these settlements take so damn long to, uh, get up to the proper population level to upgrade. So hopefully that'll happen a little bit faster as well. Hopefully everything will just happen a bit faster in this. Um, I think the, uh, the date is still locked. Because I didn't touch that at all. It's still, like, 2990 is when we'll unlock our top tier stuff. But... Other than that, things should be just happening faster, upgrading more quickly, all that stuff. Um, yeah, there, there are sections of, like, just pure rebel territory, but in 4.0, it was like, I think there was a rebel settlement right here that was just empty. Um, Harad had some down here where it's just rebel territory, like, deep inside your own, so it's it, it's kind of um, make thing, makes things incredibly inefficient. Like, you have to go all the way deep in your own territory and then go all the way back to the front. Whereas in 3.2, the rebel settlements are basically buffers between the actual players. Um, so I suppose we should... Well, I think Dale... I think, does Dale start with one of these? I'm not sure, but we should probably go... Go into Wilderland first rather than going up and around here. Because we don't, we don't want to make contact with the dwarves too early. Because they just like to declare war on me. How may I serve? Orders. As you will. And there's just, there's just more, there's more settlements. More settlements to take out in the Wilderland anyway. How may I serve? But yeah, we don't have too many troops to begin with. Um... I want, I, we might be able to move... Whatever, let, let's try it. We might be able to move fast enough to just, like, take this. I don't know if they fall into that settlement, like, turn one. Alright. Shouldn't be any combat for the, I guess, probably the first video, or first couple videos, since it's gonna be just taking rebel settlements and trying to... build up. Don't need that guy. I think that the pal Palantir, whatever that is, um, I think that actually works in 3.2 as well. Because in 4.0, I think it was just broken. Like, it didn't, it didn't, like, reveal the fog of war. But I don't really ever use that anyway. Okay. Yeah, Sylvan, I think, yeah, we start out, we start out at war with the Sylvans and Gondor, because that's just how it is. Um, well, all these guys... We'll just go, I think Malgalad here, that's the name of that settlement, that's just always empty. And, yeah, they're already sieging that. Gondor, this starts out as rebel, but it's also considered a garrison scripted settlement for Gondor, which is... interesting. But... Eh, we'll take it eventually.
but crossing the river crossing the river in 3.2 is a little bit more oh yeah i have to turn all the taxes down because i want as many people as possible um crossing the river is a lot harder in 3.2 or not a lot but it's just generally harder because we have to worry about um I mean, I don't, should I, eat, like, pour anything into this settlement? We're gonna lose it. Yeah, I'm better off spending my money down here. I don't know. Yeah. I'm better off just, like, completely pulling out. Because if I lose a Nazgul, that's pretty crazy. Anyway, uh, we don't have to worry about Henethanun or North Ithilien in uh, 4.0. I think Eastern Osgiliath is just all this. So we just have to hold this and then take that, take that. Although taking West Osgiliath is... I think the first step here. And then we probably should try and secure these or oh, I think we'll go for North Athelian first, then West Osgiliath, then we'll probably just hold here and here and then try and take the rest of Athelian. And then we can take care of Andros and then we have two bottlenecks. Wait, where's the Oh, you, I need you. Yeah, I want the Witch King over here. Hopefully I don't lose my Nazgul's in like dumbass ways. But we'll see. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into Fangorn. That's just that's gonna border like Rohan's Heartland right over here, so we're better off just holding his Isengard and trying to, I guess, take stuff over here. Um Yeah, we got we got two settlements right here that's like right by Eridor. Taking those would be helpful, but also is going to probably end up ending in a war with Eridor and we got a little we got a little uh region right here, but I think I'll give that to the Misty Mountains since they're so close. So yeah, the first, uh, I guess, many turns are just going to be building up and- yeah. Yeah, this is what we have to take right here. We gotta- we gotta take a full stack of the Misty Mountain Orcs and a full stack of Gundabad and just, like, barrel down on that place. Because there's just- <laughs> we, this is literally just a thorn in my ass. I think- I think this borders- this borders, like, all four of my settlements here. Or five. No, a four. Yeah, this borders all four of my settlements here. So the high elves can basically just come at me whenever they want. And I think we start out at war with them. Yeah, we start out at war with, like, all these guys. So yeah, that's ju that's just a problem. Um, but we should have some time before uh, shit really kicks off. Do I have any agents? We got one spy, okay. Get ready for fighting. Come on. Yeah, we'll merge up all three of these armies into one and then go take there's a castle. Yeah, there's a, a or Moton Bailey basically a castle. A castle right here, and then a, a city right here. And then we'll probably just take these two and try and swing down here. Maybe, eventually. <laughs> See what happens. Okay. How may I serve? As you will. Yeah, I think Harad has serious problems with co corruption the entire the entire game. I, I think that's just like part of Harad's thing. I haven't like looked into the files when it comes to that really, but I think they just get like a a bonus to corruption. <laughs> and not in the not in the good way. Uh, let's take, yeah, we'll take these ships, come down here, pick up some more units, and then we'll just merge up an army here, take this, take this, and then probably build up another army, take this, hand it over to Mordor. We're going to need a diplomat to do that, but we can just gift the settlement to them whenever we take it. Um, yeah, we'll get a leather tanner there because we're going to... 
We're gonna need better armor for all our guys, so we're gonna have to build that eventually. Okay, we should be down here. There we go. Occupied that. Low taxes, and um, I guess we'll get that for population growth. And that's 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 the only settlement. That's the only settlement that's like way behind my lines, and it's uh, you know just completely unoccupied. And they. Uh, yeah, they, they retreated into the settlement. So we'll have to go take it the hard way. And they also... They also tuned down the rebel spawns in 3.2. So we don't have to worry about... Uh, and they also just changed the map in general. Um, I think there's a... Yeah, there's just a, a way around here. In, in 4.0, the only way to get to Roman was, like, one bridge that was scripted to spawn rebels, basically, if there were no rebels. So if we destroyed one stack of rebels and got through, the next turn they would just spawn another stack of rebels. So, that was definitely, that was ridiculous. That was, uh, there was just a lot of ridiculous things with 4.0 that are very, very interesting as to what the hell the people who made that were thinking. Orders. Yeah, getting there. Order. Okay, we, yeah, we could How use another archer in there. Whoa, whoa. I think uh, 3.2 is also way less likely to crash as well. I think it does... It might crash with the... Um, with javelins, especially runes javelin throwers, I think it crashes with that. So I'll probably have to be careful and just save whenever we start fighting with them. Uh, there we go, Gondor took that, no problem. Okay, um, should we do... Well, we can't even get orc raiders here yet. Yeah, we should probably focus on military or let's focus on economic buildings. Yeah, those yeah those give growth and food for or harvest money, whatever. Um, I'm not sure. I get, yeah, we'll have to see the we'll have to see the elves coming. Right now, both of these settlements are just rebels, so like we don't. That's not a problem, but eventually the Sylvans are going to come down and take all that. And then we're at war, so they're eventually just going to come and attack me here. So we'll have to just... Probably just withdraw from Dol Guldur and fall back, take Wilderland. But the Sylvans are probably going to end up taking that too, because they're just going to keep coming. And I can't really... <laughs> can't really do much with everything focused on Gondor. So Rune, Rune's probably going to have to step in when all that happens. I need a spy. Um, butchery. We do have a diplomat, so we can do some basic <laughs> looking around. Oh yeah, they got they got rebels right here. We can see the devastation. Um, I know they have rebels over here somewhere by this settlement. But I can't see it. Well, let's get ready for fighting. Put an army together and we'll try and take probably the southern settlement. There's two right by each other. But I guess I guess we could go for two. For both of them. Mountain Fort. Okay, now that's just gonna be that's gonna be basically just uh, used to train the skirmishers, which are absolute garbage until it upgrades, which is gonna be a long time. Ready. This 
way. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> oh, the elves have such powerful units too. Oh man, it's so bad. And I don't think I don't think we're able to get trolls. Are we able to hire trolls as mercenaries? It... Listen up. No sleeping here. We're able to we're able to hire like evil men in this area. Which for Gundabad and the Misty Mountain Orcs will probably be helpful. Although they're they're still not very good at all. They're just like trash units. But they're better than orcs, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, so that's that first settlement, and then this one, that city right here. There's basically a bunch of little villages. There's one here, I think one here, uh, and then one here. And basically, we, we end up fighting with Eriador over, like, this entire just wasteland right there. Except this time, hopefully, because I'm not focused... That's not a bad general. Where's this guy? Um, he's all the way up there. This is the guy we just hired. I guess we'll use him as the... Uh... Oh, no, we got our faction leader right there. Okay, well, this guy, this guy kind of sucks. So uh, we'll bring him all the way... We'll bring him all the way here to the capital, so we'll just be a governor. Okay. How may I serve? Yeah, it'll, it'll take a few turns for Harad to get ready, but once we do, we'll go crazy. Well, those guys, and we got some more units on the way. Oops. Uh, we'll try and go for some cheaper... Build, yeah, because we right now we don't have a very strong economy. Yeah, I could only like afford one market before we're out. All right. Yeah, they they must have another settlement right here. Yeah, they do. West. Okay, I thought that was just a four point oh. I thought they add, added that settlement in, but no, that's three point two. Yeah, we got two four. Wait, you got yeah three forts here, so we can stack those full of. Like, two units and have them both just stay free. How may I serve? And... Ready to go. Uh, let's... Uh, we got... One, two, three... Four frontline infantry units, three javelin units, three archers, and then one horse archer, and one... Uh, horse... Heavy cavalry unit with the general. But it, it doesn't take it doesn't take long at all for Rune to just like have more money than we can spend in one turn. Order. As you will. Okay. Yeah, we don't need. We don't need any, uh, there's the thing. We don't need any more generals as Mordor. We need to put everything towards, uh, just units. Get ready for fighting. Listen up. Okay, they're able to get there, they're able to get there, and we should be able to move out next turn. And are they, just, is Gondor right here? They always go, oh, they're not there yet. Okay, well, taking that might be pretty easy. We'll have to... We'll definitely have to reinforce this. Actually, um... We'll send some Orc Raiders there. And... One Nazgul, then we'll take all this and attack Hanethanun. Because if we... If it's just Rebels, we should be able to take it with a... Kind of a half-assed force. Now we'll try and get as many food buildings up as we can. OK, 
Okay, let's just walk into this guy. There he is. This had best be worth our time. No, we cannot agree. Okay. Well, he can't ambush us if we know he's there, so that's good. I think I've lost many battles to that guy's army trying to go take those settlements because I just forget they exist. Okay, this place this place is going to be uh, a pretty good recruiting place. Or just a good settlement in general. Pretty big. Good growth rate. Yeah, I think this the the high elves. I think they're just gonna build. They're just gonna build stuff there until yeah. Oh, let's uh. Get ready for fighting. Are we still retraining, guys? No, we're not. No sleeping here. Occupy that fort for free upkeep. Are we able to build any spies? No, we're not. We have to. Yeah, we have to build butcheries. Uh, I guess we'll get that. We'll have to try and spam, like, shitty units. Um, like, not not only are these stalkers, not only are they just, like, bad units, but it's also very, very awkward to have them actually throw their javelins. It, it's just very awkward to use a lot of the time, so... Yeah. Um, but I do... I want one spy... I want one spy right here, just, just so we can always see what's going on here. And then I want probably like two more spies just patrolling out here. Get ready for fighting. Um, Get ready for we're going to need to cross right there, so these guys can go over there. Come on. We have a general in that army, so we'll Get just take the troops, go up there, pick up those troops. Then we'll go all the way up there and around and take all this. I think the dwarves usually get this settlement pretty quick, and then this is like a hot point for just war with Eriador. Well, right now we can just build whatever the hell we want. We don't have to worry about spending money very carefully. Uh, this guy, yeah, he's on the way, on the way down to the capital. There we go. That's some pretty good stuff. How may I serve? Order. We move. And yeah, we're almost ready to move. Orders. And Gondor does like to... They do like to come at this settlement pretty often. But it's just... Yep, ah, it's not a big surprise. Somebody, I think it was this guy right here. I think it was one unit of spears, so... That's not a big deal. Uh, you two... Go get that fort. That guy's already on free upkeep. Okay. Well, I guess the capital... Yeah, we'll get... Yeah, get a... Whatever that is. Mark it at the capital. Probably where the most amount of money's gonna... Be gotten from. Okay, so this, so far this guy only has good traits. Wait, what the... Wasn't that the other guy? Oh, I grabbed the wrong guy. Well, whatever. He's still got good traits, so hopefully he'll get a lot of good governor traits. Alright, these guys. Oh, we got East Rovanian. Man, I remember, I remember fighting my way, like, yeah, we, I, <laughs> we fought all the way up to, like, halfway through Rovanian. In, four, in the 4.0 playthrough, and then I got mad at, like, just the whole fucking mod and started auto-resolving, and then we lost all the way back to these two settlements, and then I fought all the way back. Uh, it sucks that I'm never gonna finish that, but it also doesn't suck at all, so... Uh, and, I don't know, I wanna... Yeah, put stuff into Rome in here. We need that. That's probably the most important city I got. 
And Amu Khan here is pretty useful. Uh, yeah, there's just so much corruption. Like, I, is it just like fair and rule, eager, brave? Yeah, like this guy doesn't do anything with corruption. But I guess it's just an incredibly corrupt area. I don't know if there's a way to edit those settings. Like this, this region has this level of corruption by default. I don't know. Oh, well, we should hit that settlement next turn. I don't think orcs. I don't think we have to worry about corruption at all. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think orcs have to worry about any corruption, which is pretty damn nice. Oh, here, here's Gondor. They're trying to go for it now. Um, let's leave. Let's leave one unit of orc band there. Get those raiders there. I think we might be better off. We might be better off. Um, Letting Gondor attack. And then trying to swoop in and take it from them. Because hopefully they'll be pretty weak. And we just got three Orc Raiders. Those guys are going to the front. And we might bankrupt ourselves there. Okay, we're barely making any money now. But yeah, we gotta, we gotta take a settlement now. Which is gonna be Hanethanu. So we'll try and put everything towards that. Oh, hold on, I wanna... Yeah, I don't wanna run into them by accident. That's just an absolute nightmare. And we got a little battle. Um, 450... Yeah, 52 men lost. I don't need to do those battles. So yeah, I guess we, we just need to like kind of avoid Rohan at the entire beginning here. Um, I do... I would like to build a... Tower right there. Just for some advanced warning. Um, but there, there's a, quite a few settlements. There's, I think there's like three out here. So I guess we could try and make this the, the battleground against Rohan rather than their garrison scripted settlements because they got all their garrison scripted settlements like right here, right on my doorstep. So yeah, that's just not. That hasn't worked the past like 10 times I've played this. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to work now. Oh, this this settlement's actually... Okay, we might want to... We might, whoa, we might want to actually go and attack this. Just because it's actually got a wall. But it does directly border Eriador, but... Yeah, why not? We got the settlement right there. And even if they do take it, they're probably going to declare war on me anyway. All right, Goblin Town, finish the mines. Well, holy shit, like, even the capital can't build, like, tier two units. They're close, but still. Um, yeah, we're better off just, like, building, building, building until we actually get some settlements other than just Moria that can build, like, half-decent units, which is... Still being, still being pretty generous to uh, these guys. All right, you guys take all them, and we have a troll in there, so that should make things way easier. And I'm not going to, I'm not gonna auto resolve with that army because the trolls, they like to just uh, disappear. Oh, oh shit, we want that mining network. How much is that gonna cost? Oof, I don't think we have enough. Yeah, oh, we just barely do, okay, there we go. And we can build a market. Yeah, so our, our basically our only big settlement right here, right now, is uh, Car and Doom, because none of these, none of these cities are big enough to build top tier units, and this is, Literally level one, <laughs> level one uh, castle. Ariador is already here. I think 
Arthur Dane. I think the capital's like right here or something. No, that's Bree. Nah, who cares? Oh, we can see it. Oh yeah, right here. That's the capital. All right. And I think we'll uh, we'll finish Ruin's turn and then we'll call it. Hemron Mines. Um. Right here. Wooden Castle. Got two castles right here. This one's got a bigger population, so I guess we'll... And a better growth rate. Yeah, so we'll try and build this one up as big as possible. Uh, wooden castle, it's... Um, castle... Fortress, and then citadel. So I think we got like... This is wooden castle, so we gotta get castle, fortress, citadel. So we got three more upgrades to do. Get up there, uh, this guy. Get there. Take the entire army except that guy. And we could just take this, take South Athelion. Hold on. Uh, it's right by this, though. Now we'll, we'll secure all this first, then we'll start working on getting Mordor its stuff. We'll focus on Harad first. Oh, we have a settlement like way that, yeah. 4.5% growth, that's pretty nasty. Um, well. Oh, cor corruption's gone. Um, I guess get a spy and a diplomat. Now those agents are pretty damn helpful. Okay. That guy's trash. Although I suppose I could get him just so I have a governor in every city. There we go. Mines and mines. Uh, mines. Are we able to build anything? Oh, 500. No, we're not. Okay, these guys can start sieging that. Um, oh, so we got a new guy. Okay. Well, we'll get him there. That's some good movement. Jesus. Proper morals. Plus one to unrest. Why would... Well, whatever. Um, what's the other effect? Plus one to law. Okay. Well, that, that's a good start. Oh, um... Yeah, I guess we'll... Spy. Yeah, we'll make a spy. All right. So yeah, pretty standard start. We're just uh, expanding and uh, trying to <laughs> get the proper infrastructure ready. So when war starts, well, I guess war has already started for like half the nations. But when we actually start throwing armies at each other, we're able to actually sustain it yeah that's gonna be it for this um yeah i have uh, several different saves of this um i'll call this bob evil bob all all hold on there we go i don't want to capitalize the entire thing bob all evil and then we'll do then I'll do a backup save. All evil one. And there we go, that's gonna do it for this. So yeah, it's uh, nice to nice to play Third Age again. I really like this game. And hopefully I'm actually gonna finish this. Um, <laughs> even if it does take like a hundred damn videos, hopefully I still just finish it. Because um, yeah, that Third Age 4.0 stuff was just... I put in uh, way too much time into that to just, like, not finish it. But, frankly, it's just... It's uh, it's biased, it's broken, and I'm done with it. So, that sucks, but yeah. Uh, if you made it here, thank you for watching. If you watch any of my other stuff, thank you for watching that as well. And I will see you in whatever I decide to do next time. So, thank you for watching.